Om Shanti, today is your 159th day of your Godly Blessing and before we go ahead in this Godly Blessing, let's have a look at the link above which is going to take you towards fitness, yoga asanas and at the same time sleep and diet. Have a look at this link. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. In today's blessing, Baba is trying to say that we have to be a combined form with God. If we have to protect ourselves and save ourselves from being an observer of many things in our life, the situations of ups and downs, only when we are in connection with God that will pass those tests. Otherwise, if we panic, if we get into any kind of trouble, if we get angry or irritated or frustrated, then our stage is going to go down. So God wants us to always be in a constant stage and for which we have to be in a combined form. So let's understand what Baba has to say in today's blessing. Baba says, may you be combined with the power of Shiva and always have the awareness of the companion and experience the stage of a detached observer. Now, why the word Shiva over here? Why are we calling God as Shiva? Many people are confused actually that Shiv and Shankara are one and the same. So I have cleared that up in the previous videos also. Shiva is the form of the incorporeal God. He has no form. That's why in every religion, God has been mentioned as light. Shiva is also light. Shankar is not Shiva. That's the biggest problem which has happened in this world today. That people have thought that Shiva and Shankar are one the same. So if you combine a father and a child and you say both of them are the same, isn't that a big mistake? Right. Similarly over here, Shiv is Shanu or point or Kalyankari. That means the one who is the benefactor. That's the meaning of the name Shiva. Just like you also have a name and you have a meaning of your name. Similarly over here, God says that I am a pond of light, I am divine being, I am just light. I have no physical form like you children. So now we understand that God the Father can only be incorporeal and only an incorporeal God the Father can be accepted as God by everybody. People will not accept any of the physical gods as gods for everybody. Isn't that true? Christianity will not accept Lakshmi Narayan or Krishna as God or Radhe Krishna or Hanuman as God because they believe that God is a point of light. That's it. He doesn't have any form. Same goes for the Muslim religion also. They also don't believe in any form of corporeal kind of worship. They also believe that God is Noor, God is light. And in the so-called Hindu Dharma or the Sanatan Dharma, God has been mentioned as light, Jyoti or soul who doesn't have a physical body. So you see a Shiva Lingam which is also known as Jyotir Lingam. Jyotir means light, Lingam means symbol. So Jyotir Lingam is the symbol of light. Now, in order to worship, the size of the Jyotir Lingam was increased so that you can pour water, you can give uh, fruits, you can pour milk on top of it. But God says, I don't eat those things. That is also not required. I need you to give away all your vices and give them to me instead of keeping them with you. So let's see, let's understand what Shiv Baba has to say here. Baba says, may you be combined with the power of Shiva and always have the awareness of the companion. God is a companion over here and experience the stage of a detached observer. Once we are attached to him, only then can we also see the whole world drama which is happening all around the world in every country, every state as a detached observer. So just as a soul has the company of a body, I am a soul, you are a soul, you have this body, I also have this body of mine. So just as a soul has the company of a body and while that soul has a part on this earth, I have a part on this earth and I cannot play the part without having a physical body. So, no one can separate them. Nobody can separate that, right? Until or unless death comes. So, I am a soul. I have got this body. I am a companion with this body to play the part on this world stage. Similarly, you are so. In the same way, Shiva and a Shakti soul is known as Shakti over here. Have such a deep relationship. Godfather Shiva and I the soul, point of light, and you souls also are having a companionship with God over here. I cannot have a bodily relationship with God because God is incorporeal. He doesn't have a physical body. So I need to think of myself as a physical, non-physical being, but a metaphysical being as a soul, as a point of light. Only then can I have a relationship with God or have a companionship with God. In various religious practices, we think that we are physical bodies. That's why we pray to physical structures or physical constructs of gods 
and we call them as different different gods but god says i am only one and i am incorporeal as per every religion i cannot be put into different physical forms and you cannot call all of them as god they are also my creation so let's go further into this baba says shiva and a shakti have such a deep relationship Maya cannot cause any obstruction to the deep love of those who constantly move along as embodiments of the power of Shiva. So once we are in connection with God the Father, we attain his powers, then automatically lust, anger, greed, ego attachment, they just go down in our life. And what comes up in our life is God's power, God's guidance, God's love, God's knowledge. So either we are with him as a companion or we are with maya that's a choice which we have to make so baba says they constantly experience companionship and the stage of a detached observer once we understand god and through god's ways of looking at the whole drama then we also can be a detached observer and observe the whole world drama with the powers which we had discussed yesterday the power to tolerate the power to face the power to accept and all the different values and virtues of patience tolerance royalty acceptance loyalty and many more things which have been mentioned in the description down below you can go to the link and find out what are the eight powers and what are the 36 different values which we get once we are in connection with god the father so god's experience or god's companionship is experienced when we are following him completely that's the only time we'll feel as if he is present with us even though he is non physical doesn't have a body but god will be felt as if he is walking along with us so that's the only method of experiencing god who's incorporeal to be felt as a corporeal being in our own life so i leave you with this beautiful blessing and the method to learn to be in contact with god in an incorporeal way is through meditation and that's what we learn at brahma kumaris have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti mm-hmm.